Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, continuing coverage of CES 2023. We have got a Deeb here, and the company's name is called Kama, and this is how you can turn your 2016 car or newer into an autonomous driving vehicle. We'll talk about it next. Tell us a little bit about how you guys came up with this, how it's all started and all that. We started by selling this, this is the very polished version, but we started with selling some uh, rougher versions of this, and uh, it was called an Eon, and then so pilot has been in development, uh, that's the software that runs on the device for about six years now. Okay. Um, so it started as a highway drive assist, um, and now we're a really good highway drive assist, as you can see. Um, you can use it on city streets uh, with our latest updates. Uh, how, how hard is it to install into a, a vehicle? It takes about 15 minutes, about as difficult as a piece of Ikea furniture. Could I do it, or do I have to have a licensed uh, uh, mechanic do it? Self-installable. Um, all our users do their own installs. How does it attach? Is it attached to, like, underneath the, the dash or in the, in the engine, or where? No, so in most cars, there's already a camera up there that does lane keep. So you take off the, a little piece of trim there, unplug the wire from that camera, you plug in a harness for ours, and then uh, you just plug in the device. You mount it up with a small piece of VHB tape, okay. some double-sided tape on your windshield. Okay. Um, so how does it ha how does it attach to the steering wheel? Is it, is it that type of autonomous driving? Yeah, there's already commands in your car that'll do this. You have these features, they're just not very good. So we basically upgrade those features. How many vehicle brands can you get, put comma into? So almost all major brands, uh, we support almost 250 cars right now, adding support for new cars all the time. 2016 and, and newer. Right? Yeah. So my 2002 Trailblazer, not going to happen. No, unfortunately not. Unless I get some sort of upgrade to it or, or something. Yeah, so basically you need electronic power steering, and then that electronic power steering motor needs to accept uh, certain 8S commands. What about with uh, like a stick or a manual transmission? So we do support some of those cars. Um, obviously you have to do the shifting, but works best on automatic cars. What kind of car do you have? So we have an internal fleet of about 15 cars. We have just a few from each brand. Um, our most popular cars are Toyotas with uh, TSS2. Is that the easiest brand to, to install? Yeah, because it comes up basically all of them. So some cars you need a higher trim or specific package. On the Toyotas and Hondas, any, any 2016 or newer basically, you're good to go. What about about bigger vehicles, trucks, uh, not box trucks, and, and buses and stuff like that? So we support a few trucks, like the Ram 1500. Um, we would love to support more, but uh, just... You're, you're working on it. Yeah, we're working on it, basically. Okay. All right, well, let's get down to the brass tacks here. Uh, how much is it cost to install one of these systems into your car? So the device here starts at $14.99, and then you pick up a $200 harness to connect to your specific car, um, and then that's your all-in cost. Wow, so under $2,000... With the right vehicle, I could get a little bit of automation in my vehicle. And of course, you still have to keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. So don't go tiktok this stuff while you're doing it. Yeah, the install you can, but you know. Uh, where do people go for more information? So they can go to comma.ai, um, go to our website, and all the information right there. Comma.ai, C-O-M-M-A dot A-I, yep. and you're good to go. Yep. All right, Adib, thank you very much for your time. All right, there you go. Awesome stuff here at CES 2023. Thanks to Adib, thanks to Kama. Awesome. Being able to put aftermarket into your vehicle that you can do, it sounds pretty fairly easy to do. If you can change a car stereo, you should be able to change this. That's pretty sweet. Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. We got a lot more action covering CES 2023. So go ahead, geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Till next time, you guys geek out and drive on. See, this is where I walk away from the camera, but the problem with a, with a 360 camera is I'm still in the frame. This is crazy. Crazy. So I'm just going to walk around like this for like two times. You guys want to see these in HD or do you guys want to see these in 360? Let me know in the comments below. Geek out.